What's good, YouTube? It's Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy on the channel where we talk about fragrances and fashion. So if you mess with your boy, I'm gonna have you looking good. I'm also gonna have you smelling absolutely amazing. So if you wanna smell good, if you wanna look good, then I hope that you will consider clicking the subscribe button and make sure as well that you hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload new content on the channel. So guys, on today's video, I'm going to be talking about 15 of what I consider to be my holy grail fragrances. Now I have a few more in my collection that I would put into this category, so I may do a part two of this. Um, but today we're gonna be focusing on these 15 fragrances that I have sitting right here on my desk <laughs> that I'm gonna show to you in just a minute. Now, when I say holy grail, uh, let's give a little bit of clarity. So holy grail to me, uh, it can be one of several things. Number one, it could be a fragrance that when I first got into the fragrance community, there was so much uh, talk about it, so much hype about it. Uh, it kind of fell into that category of one of those fragrances that you just have to have in your collection, a very popular fragrance. Now, I also kind of associate that for me uh, with a fragrance that was not, would not be easily accessible to me, specifically from a, a price point uh, perspective uh, as well. So that's one of the... Uh, things that make up a holy grail fragrance to me. Now the second thing is going to be uh, one that's just a little bit more on the expensive side that I had to pay pretty close to full retail for if not full retail. Uh, to me that's a, that would be uh, a fragrance as well that would constitute a holy grail fragrance because of the accessibility standpoint and then from another perspective looking at accessibility a holy grail fragrance is also one that may be discontinued or hard to find. Uh, so that's going to be the last category uh, or characteristic, I would say, of a Holy Grail fragrance. So I have 15 fragrances here. Uh, these may not necessarily be my favorite 15. They're not, actually. But these are fragrances that I really love. And again, they fall into one of the aforementioned categories. So this is going to be fun, guys. 15 Holy Grail fragrances I have in my collection. Of course, I would love to hear uh, what some of your Holy Grail fragrances are as well, what you consider to be a holy grail fragrance so we're gonna get into it if you want to see what made the list you know how we rock keep it locked right here All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to jump into the list. Uh, before I do that, really quick, guys, I want to mention, I've talked about this on my Instagram. Make sure you guys sign up for Scent Explorer this year. I'm going to be one of the panelists speaking this year, but I am going to leave my link down below. I would love for you to be one of my guests. There's going to be uh, a lot going on, a lot that you don't want to miss at this event coming up on December the 4th. Now, of course, because of the uh, pandemic, this is going to be a virtual event, but man, there is so much that you're going to get for so little. I think the tickets are like 30 bucks, um, but you're going to get a grab bag that has samples from 28 different uh, fragrance companies that will be represented at, um, at Scent Explorer. So that in itself is, <laughs> is worth the price of admission. But in, in addition to that, there's going to be fragrance giveaways, full bottle giveaways that will happen periodically throughout the course of the event. Again, panel discussions are going to be taking place as well with folks like myself, um, Max Forte, Steven from Red Adolescence. Again, an amazing event and a big prize is going to be a trip to uh, the Amouage factory where they produce uh, the Amouage fragrances. One of my favorite fragrance houses, by the way, which is an amazing opportunity. So again, can't beat it for 30 bucks, guys. I'm going to leave my link down below. Again, I will do a full video that's going to explain a little bit further. Uh, some of the details with Scent Explorer, but guys, don't miss it. If you want to rock with your boy, you want to conversate, make sure you click my link down below for Scent Explorer and meet us on December the 4th. All right, guys, so the first fragrance up on my list today, this fragrance was discontinued. Now, I have heard that it's making a comeback. We will, I'm going to have to wait and see on that, but it's this one right here from By Killian, and it's Sacred Wood. And simply put, this is just the best sandalwood fragrance I've ever put my nose on. Now, I love sandalwood fragrances, and this one, again, was very, very hard to get. It was discontinued, 
And anytime you would see this fragrance pop up in a, a swap group or something like that, within the first minute or 30 seconds, it was already gone. That's how much people wanted this fragrance and I'll never forget, uh, again, shout out to uh, Adele, uh, who I got this fragrance from. She shipped it from Europe for me. I paid for it. Uh, she, I saw a post go up about it. And within, like I said, the first minute or two, the fragrance was sold. So I inboxed her and she said, hey, I think I can get my hands on another one. And she got this one for me, guys. I'm cherishing this because this is the original uh, formulation of Sacred Wood. Again, just an amazing sandalwood fragrance. One that you have to put your nose on. And definitely one that is worthy, in my opinion, of being in that holy grail conversation. So I heard it's going to be coming back out again, uh, back onto the market. So keep your eyes open for that. You may have a chance to experience this. But this is definitely a holy grail for me from By Killian. It's a sacred wood. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list is from uh, the private collection from Christian Dior, and this is called Feb Delicios. Now, this is one of those fragrances when I first got into the community. Uh, shortly thereafter, when I started really uh, learning my taste in fragrances, just as far as my preferences and things of that nature, and I really started to love the gourmand genre of fragrances, this is one that had always been on my radar. But again, it took me a while to uh, get to the point where I was comfortable spending, you know, X amount of dollars or I would say what would most consider to be more uh, expensive fragrances. It took me a while to get to that point where I was comfortable spending money on more expensive fragrances. But nonetheless, of course, one that is hard to find discount and things of that nature. So that in itself kind of puts it in that holy grail conversation. But also just this is one of the ones I heard a lot about when I discovered that I love gourmand fragrances. And if you're a gourmand lover, this is one you have to try. It's milky and creamy. I think it comes from sandalwood. There's some caramel in here, praline. Again, tonka bean, so very, very sweet fragrance. Definitely good for date nights and things of that nature. But one for me and for you, if you're a gourmand fragrance lover, that I think you would really need to put your nose on. And one, of course, because of its popularity when I first came into the fragrance community, would classify as a holy grail for me. So check it out from Christian Dior. This is Feb Delicios. All right, guys, the next fragrance up on the list is from the house of Maison France. It's Kirk John. This is Baccarat Rouge 540. This is the Extrait de Parfum. Now, I had the original Baccarat. I did a full review on that. And uh, I think I want to do a comparison video between uh, the Extrait and this one. But nonetheless, definitely one that's on that holy grail list. Now, one of the things about this fragrance is it's very expensive. I think the retail on this one is about in that 450 range, if I'm not mistaken. So that in itself makes it not as accessible for a lot of people. And then, of course, the fact that it is one of the most popular fragrances nowadays, period. When you talk about designer or these fragrances, and this is popular between both men and women. Everybody, well, not everybody. A lot of people love this fragrance, and it's one that... Gets a lot of talk, so it's one that you have to put your nose on, definitely one that you would have to put in that holy grail kind of conversation. So I love this stuff from Baccarat Rouge. I love the I love the original, but I love the extrait even more. That almond just gave it that extra 10% that I love. Oh man. You gotta put your nose on this at some point if you haven't. From the house of MFK, again, this is Baccarat Rouge 540, the extrait to puff on. Alright guys, the next fragrance on the list is from the house of Creed, and this is Creed Aventus. Creed Aventus. Now, this batch that I have is from the year of 2017. I think it's 17 one if I'm not mistaken. And from what I understand now, this is one of the Holy Grail batches, one of the later Holy Grail batches of Creed Aventus. And I can tell you that it smells absolutely phenomenal. Now, I don't have to talk much about this fragrance because you guys know that whether you've been in the fragrance community for five minutes or five years, this is a fragrance that you've heard about. And most people feel like because of the hype around it, you got to get your nose on it. Now, I can tell you, beyond a shadow of a doubt, it's one, in my opinion, that's worth having in your collection. That's my opinion. Uh, some people may have an alternate opinion, but this is my opinion that we're talking about on this channel. So I really feel like this is a Holy Grail fragrance. Again, I've heard this is a Holy Grail batch. I would have to agree with that because it's really, really good. This is a great balance between the pineapple and the birch right here. I'm trying to hold on to it, man. It's getting a little bit past that halfway point now. So I think I want to get a 3.3 .3 ounce bottle just so I can wear that. We'll just kind of keep this 
tucked away. I gotta hide it from my son. So he likes to, you know, spray this too. But anyway, definitely <laughs> holy grail worthy, in my opinion, from the House of Creed. This is we refer to it as the King of Inters. The next fragrance on this list is from the House of Roger Dove, and this is called Sweetie Oud. Sweetie Oud. Now this fragrance comes in on this list because it's a very unique gourmand scent. Of course, you know I love gourmands. And the price point on this, man, this thing retailed for about $5.25, if I'm not mistaken. So it's very expensive, making it a little bit more, of course, of an exclusive kind of fragrance. It's one that I always had my eye on, but of course at that price point, I was like, ah, I don't know. I got to wait till I can kind of find this at a discounted price. I was able to find it, I want to say, at maybe Max Aroma or someplace like that. I think it was Max Aroma, and I might have paid like three eighty for it. I don't know, something around that. But I was able to find that a little bit of a discounted price, of course. But still, an exclusive fragrance, an amazing gourmand. Smells like baked goods walking into a patisserie. Smells absolutely fantastic. Um, if you're a gourmand lover, I'm sure you enjoy it. But definitely a for me, it was a holy grail scent because I waited so long to find it at a good price. And I've always wanted to have it in my collection. I love this stuff. So definitely one that meets the criteria for me from the House of Roger Dove. Again, this is Sweetie Oud. All right, let's see what we got next on the list. All right, this next fragrance is just a very artistic fragrance. One that you need to try, in my opinion. Definitely a holy grail kind of scent from the House of Andy Tower. This is Lair Du Desert Meadow King. Lair du Desert Metal came. Now, fellas, don't run out and buy this fragrance thinking this is going to be, for most people, like an everyday wear kind of scent, a uh, mass appealing kind of scent. That, that's not this. <laughs> this is not a mass appealing fragrance, but it's a very unique fragrance. And to me, when you think about the artistic side of fragrances, because fragrance is art, uh, without question, but when you think about that artistic side, the creative side, this is one that you have to experience because to me this exemplifies creativity in a bottle. Now to me it does still smell great. Don't get me, get me get it twisted what I'm saying. It does smell good but it's just not a mass appealing fragrance but it's one that a real fragrance connoisseur has to experience and I think will really enjoy. Now you know again they've captured the essence of the desert air in a fragrance which is a very unique concept. They pull it off uh, fantastically in this bottle. One that you need to put your nose on and have in your collection. Definitely a holy grail for me from the house of Andy Tower. Check it out guys if you can. This is called Lair du Desert Metal King. Alright, the next fragrance on the list for me comes from the house of Jurjoff and this was 40 Knots. 40 Knots. Now I could have gone with a fragrance like Naxos but that one to me is a little bit more uh, common. There's a few other fragrances that people kind of compare to Naxos. One of my favorites, but when you talk about Holy Grails, because of the unique fact of this one, I had to put 40 knots on this list. I've talked about this fragrance before on the channel and it's such a unique fragrance. It's very unique. I think it's one if you're looking to have a fragrance in your collection that really embodies how a fragrance can transition and give you three different stages, three very clear and distinct different stages of fragrance and how it should develop. This fragrance right here can teach a class on that. Definitely, in my opinion, a holy grail scent. It's amazing, it's classy, it's, it's kind of resinous, it's marine and aquatic at one point and salty. You go through all kinds of stages with this fragrance, but it's one that I think you really need to experience, man. Definitely a holy grail for me, another one that I uh, wanted in my collection for a long time and waited and waited and finally got it but uh, it was definitely worth the wait. So check it out from the house of Azure Jaw. This one is called 40 Knots. All right guys, the next fragrance on the list, this is from the uh, Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, their exclusive or private kind of collection, man. And it's a classic. You gotta put your nose on it. And this is called Tuxedo. YSL Tuxedo. Now there was a big scare, a big craze, a rumor going around a few months ago that this fragrance was discontinued because they were not in stock at the uh, on the YSL website. So a lot of people were starting to think this fragrance was discontinued 
and there was a big push for people to try to, whatever way they could, acquire this and get in their collection. It was one that, again, just like a lot of the other fragrances on this list, I waited a while to get it, uh, but I'm so glad that I finally did uh, because it's, again, another one that's well worth the wait, man. You got patchouli in this, you have some spices, you have um, bourbon, vanilla, just an amazing masculine kind of sexy fragrance, man. Again, if you're gonna dress up and step out for a night on the town, you need to put this thing on, man. It goes very, very well with, uh, I would say, more sophisticated, uh, gentlemanly kind of attire, but you can actually wear this on a date as well, man. It has some versatility to it, and it just smells absolutely fantastic. One that you will hear a lot about once you get into the fragrance community, very popular, definitely holy grail worthy in my opinion man i have a 75 ml bottle of this as well but get your nose on it fellas from the house of ysl this is called tuxedo all right the next fragrance on this list comes from the house of amwaj and this one is called jubilation 25. jubilation 25 in part two you may see reflection man from uh amwaj on this list but man this stuff right here is just absolutely fantastic. There's about 25 to 30 notes in this thing and it's blended to absolute perfection. And it's just a very unique scent. Up until about a month ago, I had not smelled anything that smelled anywhere close to Jubilation 25, but there is a fragrance now by Fragrance Dubois. I think it's New York Intense. It smells very similar to this. So, uh, but in any measure, it's a very unique scent. You have all kinds of stuff in here. Primarily, I love the blackberry in this fragrance. It's very, very unique. You got some honey in here. Again, just about anything you could think of is probably in this bottle with those 25 to 30 notes, but it's an amazing, unique scent. Again, this is one of those ones that fall into that kind of popular category. When you get into fragrances, you'll hear a lot about certain fragrances. You'll hear about Aventus. You'll hear about Baccarat Route 540. You'll hear about, um, hear about Tuxedo. You're also we'll hear about Jubilation 25. And it's one I think everybody needs to get their nose on. So check it out. Again, this is from the House of Amwaj, which of course they will be at Cine Explore. But this one's called Jub Jubilation 25. All right guys, now the next fragrance on this list, this fragrance comes from the House of Bond Number no. Nine, and this one is called Bond Number no. Nine New Harlem. Bond Number no. Nine New Harlem. Now you guys know I'm an avid Bond Number no. Nine collector. Um, since the last time I did my video, I think I had 22 bond number nines. I've probably added another two or three to that now. So I'm at that 24, 25 uh, mark. But this is one that is discontinued. It's been discontinued. And it was very, very hard to get your hands on this. If you found this fragrance on even places like eBay or any other kind of fragrance swap group or something like that, people still were asking for about $400 for this. 350, 400, between 350 and 450. Um, is what I saw where people were asking for this fragrance and I don't know how this thing fell in my lap out of heaven there was a guy in a swap group I wish I could remember his name but he was just downsizing his entire collection and I don't even want to tell you what I paid for this because some of you will be mad I think he sold me this bottle for 80 bucks <laughs> he sold me this for 80 bucks you cannot really find this thing again if you do find it now it is going for a pretty penny. But I will tell you this, keep your eyes open. One thing I've noticed about Bond fragrances lately, now they have a new one out called Nomad. Uh, Nomad or Nomad, I gotta check that one out, it's in a blue bottle. But their last two fragrance releases, well one of their last two fragrance releases have been kind of like remakes to older fragrances. So they may come out with New Harlem in a, with a different name. That's what I'm thinking. So you heard it right here first, New Harlem will probably be released through Bond Number no. 9 as something totally different. I won't be surprised if Nomad is this. I gotta look at the notes and compare. But if you look at uh, Off-Broadway, it smells a lot like New York Musk. If you look at Bond Street, it smells a lot like New York For All, which was in the black bottle. So they're kind of recreating some of that older discontinued fragrances. So this may be next on the list. I don't know, we'll see. But for right now, it's definitely a holy grail for me from the house of Bond Number no. 9. This is New Harlem. This thing smells just like pancakes and syrup. So it's like in coffee, it's like a breakfast fragrance. All right guys, the next fragrance on the list comes from the house of By Killian and this is Straight to Heaven Extreme. 
Straight to Heaven Extreme. And just simply put, I talk about this a lot. This is one of the sexiest fragrances on the planet. It's nice and boozy. has a nice uh, cedar wood note in here and rum. The rum is really amped up uh, in this one compared to the original Straight to Heaven. And this one is gives better performance than the original. But man, this stuff smells amazing. One of the fragrances from Killian that goes on and off of the market. I don't even think this is available right now, so it's really hard to get. So it smells great. And again, it's a fragrance that's not really that easily uh, accessible. So definitely a holy grail scent, man. You need to experience this one. Listen, guys, I don't, you know how we rock, man. I keep it a buck with you. Wear this on a date, man. And then come in the comment section and talk to me about it, man. But check it out, man, from Killian. This is Straight to Heaven Extreme. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list, this one comes again from the house of Roger Dove, and this is Creation E. One of the best boozy fragrances ever created, ever known to mankind. And it's just absolutely fantastic. It does smell like Coca-Cola, weirdly enough. <laughs> but the main notes to me is really that, that beautiful uh, boozy-ness that you get with this, the tobacco and the, the, from, and the cognac, of course in the vanilla in this fragrance. It's an amazing uh, boozy fragrance, again, with the cognac in here. You're gonna hear a lot about this one as well. Uh, when you start collecting fragrances, this is one of those very, very popular fragrances. Definitely Holy Grail worthy. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's one as well. I think this was one of the first fragrances that I spent, probably the second fragrance that I spent, you know, almost full retail for this bottle, which is very, very expensive. So, you know, again, at the end of the day, I'm happy with purchasing it because I really enjoy it and one that I would have purchased again if I had to. Um, so check it out, man, especially if you love a nice boozy fragrance. If you love the note of cognac, this is one that you have to put your nose on from uh, Rosa Dove. So check out Creation E. All right, the next fragrance on the list, this fragrance comes from the House of Parfums de Marley and this one is called Herod. Now this is the first fragrance that I purchased from Parfums de Marley because again, a lot of people ranted and raved about this fragrance when earlier in my uh, fragrance journey and I just really had to experience it. Absolutely love this stuff. Two of my favorite notes, tobacco and cinnamon, are the main players in this fragrance. And this is one of those fragrances, Parfums de Marley has come out with so many great fragrances over the past four or five years that this one kind of gets lost in the shuffle, man. But when you go back, if you're like me, if you've had it for a little while and put your nose on it, it will remind you of how great this fragrance is, man. Definitely Holy Grail worthy to me, especially if you love a nice, sweet tobacco fragrance. This is one that you really got to experience, man. So check it out. Of course, again, this one is called Herod. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list comes from the house of Louis Vuitton, actually, and this is called Ombre Nomad. Ombre Nomad. You guys know I love rose. I don't have to talk about that a whole lot because you guys know that by now, but this an amazing masculine rose fragrance. It's just an amazing scent. I went to the Louis Vuitton store. I actually did a vlog when I went to uh, the Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton store to purchase this fragrance, man. And it was, it was worth it. It was worth the money, it was worth the trip. The experience was amazing. And uh, guys, simply put, this is just some elite, an elite fragrance right here. If you love rose fragrances, if you want a, if you want a rose fragrance, but you're kind of afraid to do it because you think rose fragrances are too feminine. Not the case with this one right here. It's a masculine rose fragrance, man. It's dark, it's sexy, man. So check this one out. Definitely Holy Grail worthy. I had to have this. I paid full real retail for it. If you can't really find this discounted, of course, but this is one you gotta experience, guys, from the house of Louis Vuitton. This is a leak juice right here. This is called Ombre No Mind. Drum roll, please. The last fragrance on this list. You guys know me. You haven't seen it yet. Here it comes. I'm not going to say a lot about it. <laughs> what is it? From the house of Frederick Mall. This is Portrait of a Man, aka Portrait of a Lady. <laughs> I love this fragrance, guys. I talk about it all the time for good reason, and I'm not going to say anything else about it. Simply put, this is the best rose fragrance on the planet. Holy grail worthy, hard to find it discounted, very popular for good reason. I love this stuff. My most complimented fragrance hands down, seven compliments in a day. True story. So check it out from the house of uh, Frederick Mall. Again, my favorite. This is called Portrait of a Man or the formal name Portrait of a Lady.
all right guys that's it that is my time i hope you enjoyed this video today as i gave you 15 fragrances from my collection that i consider to be some of my most cherished holy grail fragrances what are some of your holy grail fragrances that you have in your collection i would love to hear from you down in the comment section so if you don't mind drop it down below and let us know and share some of your most cherished purchases that you've made so far in your fragrance journey as always i appreciate your time and attention to these videos because of course you could have been anywhere else in the world but you're right here with me and i sincerely appreciate that now don't forget to take a few moments to like comment and subscribe and make sure you share these videos out to some other folks that you think could use this information or find it entertaining because i'm your guy i'm the bow tie fragrance guy i love to look good and of course i love to smell amazing so until next time guys let's keep looking good let's keep smelling amazing i'll catch you on the flip side peace